Did the Atos bid, did it precipitate your deal? Did it quicken the process? Well, first of all, uh, we started our internal, I would say, sorts a while ago now. In fact, since the very beginning of this year. And uh, we um, started some initial discussion with uh, the Malto management a few months ago. Uh, so I, I, said, I, I would say that uh, notwithstanding Atos' move, we were already working with uh, the Malto management team to see whether it would make sense or not to combine our respective strengths. So things wouldn't have worked out any differently if Atos hadn't have barged in? Well, honestly, I don't think so. Uh, the uh, genuine interest of uh, Gemalto and Teles is clearly independent of uh, Atos' potential interest or Atos' uh, previous move on, on Gemalto. Secondly, in uh, talent-based high tech companies, it has to be a friendly approach. It cannot be an unsolicited or hostile approach. How involved did the French government get in the final days of the, of the process? And how did that, if, if at all they did, how did that affect the outcome? Well, honestly, uh, and uh, if we uh, keep or stick to the facts, uh, the French state, uh, as a shareholder of Thales, uh, has uh, clearly voted at the board of Thales in favour. In fact, the board of Thales voted unanimously uh, in favour of this uh, of this uh, uh, of this deal of this transaction. Uh, by the way, on Gemalto board, the same happened, and hence we are here to uh, uh, celebrate this uh, potential transaction, which has been blessed by the two respective boards.